Hey guys welcome to another video. Blessings here today. This is to inform the public that the Professional Regulation Commission, or PRC, recently issued PRC Resolution No. 2020-1267, Series of 2020, adopting the revised guidelines and procedures in the filing and processing of application for licensure examination of repeater examinees or applicants. Repeater examinees who took the licensure examinations from June 2018 and onwards shall no longer be required to personally file their applications and submit copies of transcript of records and NSO birth certificates in any PRC regional offices and PRC service or off-site centers. So, here are the revised step-by-step -step procedure in filing online examination application without appointment for repeaters. Step 1. Visit PRC website www.prc.gov.ph slash Laris. See the link on the description below. You will be directed to their page. And it will appear like this. Step 2. Just click sign in. Just put your username or email address. Input your password and click to log in. Step 3. On your profile. Click to select transaction. Select examination tab. Select name of examination. Select examination type. Select date of examination. Select place of examination. And click to confirm your selection. Step 4. Select payment option in any of the following. Banknet. Land Bank. Gcash. UCPB Bank. And Paymaya. Check all the details. Click the submit button to save transaction. Step 5. After your successful payment, click existing transaction. Then press print document to print the notice of admission or NOAA. Here is the sample of Notice of Admission or NOAA, which shall be presented to the examination personnel, or supervisor, on the day of the licensure examination. Scan copies of other documents required by respective regulatory laws, such as Certificate of Completion of Refresher Course, NBI or police clearance good moral certificate and regional trial court clearances shall be submitted through the official email address of the concerned regional office or service center non-submission or failure to submit the required documents within seven days upon online issuance of NOAA shall cause the cancellation of the said application for licensure examination. Original or photocopies of the said documentary requirements shall be submitted personally during the initial registration when you passed the licensure examination. The system generated seat plan compared with the notice of admission or NOAA will be the basis of the examinee's identity during the licensure examination. The above policy was issued in compliance with the Zero Contact Policy Rule of the National Government as well as the requirements of the Anti-Red Tape Act or the Republic Act No. 9485 for the complete text 
of PRC Resolution No. 2020-1267, Series of 2020, see the link on the description below. Hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching our video. There will always be next blessings to come in the next one. God bless you.